Okay, here we go. We got a, a shaft right here off a bush hog. Can't get the part anymore because they don't make it. And that shaft broke off. We're going to turn it down to a point and re weld it and see if it'll hold. Well, let's see what happens. And we'll have to take it outside, heat that up, and get that bearing off. Of course, looks like the bearings is about out of it anyway. Well, here we are at the press. Press that old bearing out right on out of the rope. Put some pressure on it. There it went. There's the bearing and I don't see the shaft. Well, there's the shaft. Mission accomplished. Well, here we are at the torch. We've got a problem right here that that piece of metal right there is hard. On the inside, it's not, but we're going to heat that up. And then when we take a, a magnet here and stick on it, when it won't stick, then we got it to the right temperature. That way it'll anneal it. And we're going to start the heating process here. And I'm going to have to turn this uh, camera off to do this. Well, maybe not, I don't know. But just to show you about the heating. See you out there, it's not sticking. See you out there. See you out there, it's not sticking. But right there, it sticks. So we got it hot enough to kneel it. I got to turn this off. Well, now we got to heat it up. We're going to let it cool down on its own. And then it might be ready to cut. I don't know. Well, I'll show you what I meant by whenever I say I wouldn't be able to cut them threads, I mean them spines off, because how hard they are, we'll show you. Now here's what happens when the tool bit hits that. I mean, it won't even touch it. It's hard because it's uh, been hardened in the factory and you heat it up like that, that's what'll take the temper out of it. Yeah, and being as I messed up by not uh, annealing this piece first, means I already got it chucked up and I don't want to take it back out. I got the old grinder wheel here and I'm going to cut them threads. Okay, now we got the center drill a hole in there.
See, now there, we have that piece center drilled so we can mate these pieces up when we get ready. Okay, here we got our, our piece turned down to, to a point. And we're gonna stick the other piece in here like so. And then uh, tighten that down. And I'll uh, do that off camera and be right back. Okay, we come right back and I'll show you that it's turning pretty true. And we're going to weld that gap up. Right there, we're going to weld that gap up. And everything will be okay. Hopefully. Well, look, folks, we got the stinger here, and uh, we got the welder going on there. So we're gonna see what this thing's gonna do. Well, here it is, welded up. After it cools down, we'll have to turn it down and give her back to the man who owns it. See you later. This is cooled down and I think we might turn on this thing. Boy, that's awful slow feed. <laughs> 